them dreamers, but we're all dreamers. And these are the best because these are the young people that have come and they've made something out of their lives. They've contributed. Some of them will be our doctors, our scientists. Hundreds of Chicagoans are braving freezing temperatures to show their support to immigrants while politicians are debating their fate. DACA recipients, also known as DREAMers, are calling on Congress to give them a pathway to citizenship by passing a Clean Dream Act. They call it clean because they don't want strings attached to the deal, such as funding for a border wall. These kids have gone through extensive scrutinization, uh, legal papers, processes. Most of them are graduate students, college students, people who are working as professionals, and suddenly they've grown up in this country and they're going to be deported? I'm a DACA recipient, so it affects me personally because I... Uh... Uh, I'm still unsure of what's going to happen with my future. These are young people who were promised something by this country, and that promise should be upheld. Immigrants with Temporary Protected Status, or TPS, are also here calling on Congress to include them too in the tentative DREAM Act. Many of the Central Americans that are here due to TPS have a, a, a very slight percentage of, of living when they go back home. They're, they're still not safe. TPS is a program that gives immigrants from disaster-hit countries time-limited permissions to work and live in the U.S. The White House recently announced it will end the program for nearly 200,000 Salvadorans and almost 60,000 Haitians. It argues that El Salvador and Haiti have both sufficiently recovered from two different earthquakes that hit them years ago and can now accommodate the return of their citizens. But many TPS holders have lived and worked in the US legally for more than a decade and say they now deserve a pass to citizenship. DACA, or Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, protects from deportation about 800,000 immigrants who were brought to the U.S. as children. A federal judge recently blocked the Trump administration's order to rescind the Obama-era program, and the Department of Justice is now asking the Supreme Court to review that decision. In the meantime, DACA renewal applications are now temporarily being accepted, but new applications are not.